Hey guys, what's going on? Today was Christmas, so I want to wish everyone out there a Merry Christmas to you guys and to your families as well. And uh, I will be talking and showing you guys about the stuff that I got for Christmas today. Uh, for Christmas I got a range from a lot of stuff, from uh, trading cards to diecast, to even 124 scale diecast. So let's go out and show them. Okay, so first off, from 2013, we have Jeff Gordon's Martinsville diecast right here. There's the schedule for last year, or from 2013. One of 1,104 raid. It's all good. And then from this year, we have uh, Dale Jr.'s. Finally, I got it. Uh, it's the rock version of his State 2500 win. It's pretty neat. That was only 360 something made of them. Oh, 396, my bad. Yes, and that is me in the background. Hello. But yeah, this was a pretty neat car. The, the number on here was one. Uh, the number on that one was 103. And then the Martinsville one was uh, 320, I think. Anyways, uh, this just came out about a week ago. Um, it's Jeff Gordon's John Wayne. Uh, Brickyard 400 winner. Basically, it's the uh, Finish Master Paint Scheme, or the sponsor that he ran. Okay, so that, uh, there was 2,000 of these made. Yeah, 2,600 actually, to be exact. And then I uh, also got a, a tin hood uh, to commemorate Dale Jr.'s Daytona win. Pretty neat, pretty nice package. Uh, for 164 scale, I'm just gonna just draw them out randomly. Uh, this is Austin Dillon's Bass Pro Shops. This is unfortunately on the WLS mold, so I just have to deal with it. Okay. Next up is uh, Austin Dillon's NRA. Uh, or uh, the NASCAR salutes. This is a very neat car. Next up, we have Justin Allgaier's Brandit from H. Scott Motorsports. And then here we have Dale Nart Jr.'s National Guard Camel Car that he ran at Daytona. Okay. And here came along with this box that contains 12 cars. Um, here is Kevin Harvick's America, uh, NASCAR Salutes for uh, Budweiser. Obviously, oh, this is the uh, Folds of Honor. But it's the, um. Should be the NASCAR Salute, not the, Fol not the Folds of Honor, because he ran that one at Sonoma. And this one he ran at Charlotte, I think, and at Daytona. So Lionel messed up there. Like, nothing's new out of there. Next up, we have Alex Bowman. Uh, it's Dr. Pepper ride. A very nice car. Next up we have Kurt Busch's NASCAR Salutes. Or the uh, Haas on motion automation. Next up, as I said before, I have the 124 version of this, and now I have the 164 version of this. Jeff Gordon's Exalta Finish Master. 
I mean, I took it the, uh, the Mako one. Uh, the one he ran at Pocono. Probably gonna get that 164 soon. Anyway, right here is from the NASCAR Classics. It's Jack Ingram's 1982 Pontiac. I like these style of cars because, you know, they're classics and old, old die cast that, uh, that they bring back. Anyways, um, here is one of the most hated drivers in NASCAR today. I mean, I liked him before the whole Texas incident happened, but... You know, it's all iffy. Basically, uh, Brad Keselowski's NASCAR salutes. Paint scheme. This one is one of my favorites, actually. I like the frame a lot. Right, let's just keep it on Brad Keselowski, shall we? Uh, it's his performance. His Alliance Truck Par Center. Sorry. And that's just the boxing on the WLS right there. Crap. <laughs> that mold was just shitty. And, yeah. Anyways, here's Kyle Larson's uh, the night car he ran. Yeah, it says right there. Basically, the paint scheme's reversed. And then this one I have been dying to get for uh, quite some time now. It's Jeff Gordon's Texas A&M diecast. They ran at Texas. Nearly won thanks to uh, Joe Logano. Passed him on the last lap. I was pissed off. Anyway, keep it on Jeff Gordon here. Uh, it's Panasonic Tough Book. Yeah, the, the uh, Tough Book. And last one is Kyle Larson's Target uh, Silver to commemorate 25 years of racing with Chip Ganassi. Okay, uh, that does it for the diecast and on to the training cards. So from the Red Line series, uh, I got it at a retail store. I think it was Target. And it included a uh, signature from Alex Bowman. It's a 20 out of 25. And it's basically to uh, congratulate you on an th on a authentic signature from Alex Bowman. And if you hear any scratching going on in the background, that is my tortoises. I apologize for that. And then from... <coughs> sorry. And then from the 2015 press pass... That we have uh, Ryan Blaney's signature, number 12 out of 15. And it's basically the same stuff. Authentications and whatnot. And then... And then, um... And then I got a uh, Press Pass Cup Chase hobby set. Um, got some pretty neat, neat hits here. Uh, first off, we'll show you all the relics and then the signatures. First off, from uh, three wide, we have a fire suit, shoe, and sheet metal from Kyle Bush. It's numbered at 35? Yeah, 35 out of 50. And then from Cup. Chase Cuts, we have Casey Kane of uh, Sheet Metal Fire Suit, numbered 17 out of 50. And this one's a four wide signature edition of Matt Kenseth Fire Suit, Glove, Shoe, and Sheet Metal. It is numbered 1 out of 5. Pretty damn neat. Uh, next up, we have here is a pretty rem remarkable find. I can say so myself. Uh, it's Chase Elliott's signature press pass signings, number 3 out of 15. And it does come with the hologram to prove it, it is 